Audacity is a free piece of audio editing and recording software available for download from SourceForge.net. It is available for both Mac and Windows platforms. We will be working with it on our Windows-based laptops here in the classroom. Today I want to introduce you to getting started with Audacity, including connection of a microphone, basic recording, and saving your project. Before we begin, let's connect our microphone to the computer. We will be using USB microphones in this class, and you can plug them into any of the computer's available USB ports. Do this before starting Audacity. Let's begin by starting Audacity. Open the Windows Start menu, and under All Programs, select Audacity. The main Audacity window includes a lot of features you're probably familiar with. First, on the top, is a series of menus, such as File, Edit, and View, which are common in most Windows programs. Just below that is a series of playback buttons, which we will use in the creation of our recording. Before we begin recording, let's make sure our microphone and playback are set up correctly. To do this, make sure your microphone was already connected to the computer before you started Audacity. Click on Edit, and then Preferences. In the Preferences window, there are tons of options, and it can get a bit overwhelming. We're only focusing on basic microphone and playback settings today. On the right side of the window, under Recording, make sure your selected device is the USB microphone. You can do that by simply clicking on the drop-down arrow and making sure the USB microphone is selected. Next, let's make sure your playback settings are correct. Under Playback, make sure your computer's main speakers are selected for playback. The name for this setting will vary from computer to computer. Finally, set your selections for how you want your tracks to play back. If you want to hear your track as you record it, click the box next to Software Playthrough. I would not recommend checking this box as there is usually a delay between what you record and what you hear, making it difficult to concentrate. I would recommend checking the box next to Play Other Tracks while recording a new one. This enables you to hear what you have already recorded as you record a second or third track. Once your settings are how you want them to be, click on OK. We're now ready to begin recording. For the USB microphones we will use in class, you'll want to hold them about 10 to 12 inches away from your mouth as you speak. Be sure that you are not shouting, but speak loud and clear so the microphone can pick you up accurately. To begin recording, click on the red circle in the playback controls. As soon as you click record, whatever is picked up by your microphone will start recording, so wait until you're ready. While recording, you'll see your recording displayed on the screen in front of you. If you need to adjust your microphone volume, you can do this in two ways. First, you can either bring the microphone a little closer to you or further away from you. The second is to adjust the microphone recording level. This is on the top of the window next to the microphone logo. Audacity usually defaults to full volume here, so this would typically be used to decrease the volume of your microphone. Let's record a sample. This is a test sentence so that we can see what it looks like when recording in Audacity. We can watch our recording in two places. The meter at the top of the screen showing left and right volume and also the sound waves being built in the center of the screen following us as we record our track. When you're done recording, you click the stop button, as I've done here, which is the square on the playback controls. Your recording is now ready for editing. We'll cover the basic editing another time, but for now, let's save your project so you can return to work on it later. On the file menu, click Save Project. Select the location that you wish to save your project. I suggest saving it in your student folder, which is your first initial and last name, and is located on the desktop. Then, give your project a name. Make the name something that will identify this recording, such as the assignment or topic. Then, click Save. This will allow you to return at a later time and work more on your project. This does not make your recording an audio file. It is still a working only by Audacity. And that's it. You've recorded using a USB microphone in Audacity. 
Next time, we'll take a look at recording second or third tracks and applying basic effects. Thank you for watching.